How's it going everyone? It's Cody B Pyrotechnics and welcome to the sixth installment of Cody's Collectible Firework Stash. In this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at another tote, this one being the largest one we've shown so far. To put that in perspective for you, I will put my water bottle in front of the tote so you can see just how massive this thing actually is. Now this is gonna be a pretty special episode for all of you big time collectors out there. The reason for that is because everything in this tote is firecracker related. Whether that be packs, strips, bricks, or even individual firecrackers. So I'm going to go ahead and move this tote off camera. It is extremely heavy, so yeah, bear with me. Um, I'm going to put this here for now. We may have to move it since this is such a large tote. But either way, I know that firecrackers have a special place in every Pyro's heart. And that's why we're doing this video today. And to be honest, I never got big into collecting firecracker bricks like you see here. In fact, in this entire tote, I think I've only got six or seven of them but when we think of collecting fireworks most people actually collect these bricks of firecrackers and some of them are extremely expensive i saw a brick of firecrackers at pgi going for seven thousand dollars and it wasn't there on the last day so that means somebody literally bought it the whole thing is just crazy to me like i would never pay seven thousand dollars for a brick of firecrackers even if it was the last brick on planet earth However, I get into collecting unique and odd fireworks. If you couldn't tell from my past episodes, and you're going to see a lot more of that in future episodes, I like the fireworks that you don't really see that often. Like, for instance, we've got some canister shells in an upcoming video that have confetti breaks, something you don't normally see, so I collected that. But anyway, let's get on to the firecracker collection. So starting off, we've got the Presidential Salute Brick of Firecrackers. It's an 8016 by Phantom Fireworks. That's the old logo there. Now you can get all six of these bricks. I think I've only got one, I may have two. So I may have another one we can look at, but it's not in the best shape. The plastic has fallen off of here. And just so you guys know, we did cover a few of these firecrackers in the very first episode because I picked a lot of these up from PGI anyway. And that was the first episode I did where I asked you if you wanted to keep seeing these videos. You guys said yes. Unfortunately, I went and sorted all of my stuff after that video, so you may actually see some firecrackers in this video that we've already covered in the first episode. However, uh, we've got four packs of the roller coaster crackers with crimped ends here, so these are DOT versions. Um, the label looks like it's a reprint. Uh, you can see the DOT thing there. It, it just looks like it's been reprinted. Um, I don't know if that is the case or not, but who knows? They're still really cool. I collect anything with the roller coaster brand on it because, as you guys know, they don't make firecrackers anymore. And then we've got two more packs here, but these are in plastic casings. And if you look really close here at the DOT sticker, and then I hold this one up, you guys might get a better look at what I mean by that. You see how this one looks kind of elevated, almost like there's an effect on the font. Well, there is no effect over here, so maybe these are originals and these are reprints. I really don't know. Moving on from those, we've got this entire bag of individual crackers. I see some Cobras in here, some one inch and some two inch, uh, some triangle crackers. We've got a big boss down there. Uh, yeah, it looks like we've got Fast and Furious by World Class. Not really sure how this ended up in the tote because I do enjoy lighting these off. So we're gonna have to demo a few of these by the end of the video. We'll put those aside for now. Uh, this one I did show in the PGI video, but we'll show it to you again. This is the Firefox Cracker. You get 50 pieces and that was $15. Never seen them before, so glad to have those. Then we've got this bag of triangle crackers. I don't know if these were homemade or manufactured professionally because you see that tiny little fuse there. So yeah, I really don't know what's going on with these. Maybe they came out of like a celebration roll or something, you know, the big thousand strips. But look at these little guys. I don't even know where I got these things, but yeah, check it out. Uh, maybe some of you guys know where these came from. I just know that they are triangle crackers with an impossibly small fuse. Like there's no way you could light that and get away in time. Next up is a pretty destroyed pack of tank firecrackers. It's in horrible condition, and this is just a 16 strip. Don't really know why I kept this or hung on to it in the first place. I have a bad habit of just throwing anything in the collection, whether it looks unique, collectible, or not. So that would be one of those instances. Uh, we got two packs here of the Black Cat COVID-19 edition. Yes, these are real, these are not fakes. They actually got permission from Black Cat to make these, 
and there's a bunch of funny stuff on the label there if you care to pause and read it. But we'll put those aside because we did cover those in the first episode. And we got an M100 cracker by Black Panther brand. That's a DOT pack right there. Pretty cool stuff. And then we have another roller coaster brand right there. Get you an up close shot of that. So this is the smaller pack and obviously these are the larger packs, but still really cool. Then we've got two packs of the Triangle Crackers by Kingbird Fireworks. Now, originally when I purchased these, I thought they were individual Triangle Crackers. So I thought I'd be able to pull these out of here one at a time and light them. However, these are all fused together. So you actually take it out. There's a little fuse in the middle that you light and it shoots off all six of the Triangle Crackers and you get to do that. It looks like six times. Pretty cool stuff, but not what I was expecting when I got them. And then we've got a couple of these. Uh, I've lit these off before on the channel. These are Flash Bombs by Black Cat. They just have a little bit of crackling that comes out of the top and then they explode. But they are going to be a lot louder than your typical firecrackers, you know, the little one inch guys. And I've got an example of that right here if I can get them out. So everybody knows about these, the mini dynamites. Okay, so imagine these, but times two, and that's about how loud these are. Now we've got another brick of firecrackers here. The reason I got this is because it's pretty close to home. We've got Hong Kong Harry's brand in Montana. So these guys, they have fireworks stores scattered across Montana. And I knew I had to pick this up for the collection just because it says Montana here. So I thought that was pretty cool. Then we got a pack of these super triangles. Um, I've actually got some of these in here just as singles. And then I got a full pack here. So just a triangle cracker. They are not made correctly though. It actually has a two inch cracker that comes down on the side and the rest of this paper is just empty. So if they were made correctly, they'd be much louder and could probably split a cinder block in half. And trust me, I've done that before. So don't go to the comments and go, no, they're not that powerful. <laughs> okay, all jokes aside, we got the PGI brand 25th anniversary. This was a big score for me because you can see the roller coaster crew made this brick of firecrackers. Super awesome, can't believe I was able to get a brick of these for the collection, but we did cover that in a previous video, so I won't talk too much about it. Then we've got a bunch of these silver salutes by Big Fireworks. These were pretty loud back in the day. Anytime you see a consumer firecracker with a fuse coming out of the middle, it's definitely a good idea to pick it up. It just sounds louder, looks a little better when it goes off. And fun fact, one of the first videos I ever uploaded to this channel was featuring these firecrackers. Looks like we got two more packs of flash bombs and a single pack of thunder bomb crackers by Phantom Fireworks. Now we have this whole separate container within the tote and these are the firecrackers that carry a little bit of value to them. So we will be covering this in just a moment. I want to take care of the other stuff first. So we've got a pack of the Kaboom Crackers. I like it because Sonic is on here and that's probably the only reason I picked them up. They're just the little soccer ball style firecrackers. Uh, we've got a pack of these bombshell crackers and this is more like a barrage so it's not just one big boom. But these are by Miracle Fireworks and I picked these up in Georgia when I went down there to see Twisted Pyro, I think in 2017 or 2018. Shout out to that guy, he's pretty cool. I have done a video of these on the channel in the past. You're gonna have to go find it, super loud. We're starting to fill this whole area up, so I'm gonna move some of this aside. I'll get right back to you. All right, moving on. We've got a 49 cent pack of all red crackers. These are like flash crackers. They go pretty quick and they're pretty loud. And I love the old style print on these. Then we have a mini brick of red hot firecrackers. Believe it or not, this is a brick and uh, the firecracker packs themselves, they're about that long. So it's pretty cool stuff. These are like mini packs of firecrackers and these are DOT as well. Super cool, I picked these up in Wyoming. And remember those soccer ball firecrackers I just showed you? Well, we've got some more, but these are a lot tinier as you can see. I'm gonna grab the other bag for comparison. So here's the other bag and you can see the size difference there. These ones are called super balls and I love this little guy right here. So that's probably why I picked them up either way. You don't really see soccer ball crackers anymore. So when you do find them, not a bad idea to pick them up. We got a couple more silver salutes here. This is an obviously an open pack of the big fireworks version. Uh, then this right here, I'm not sure what this is. This is Cracker Bomb and I believe these just crackle. They don't really explode. But as you can see, I think I bought this at PGI. Paid a dollar for it and you get two packs in there. Pretty cool stuff. I've got a couple more bricks here to show you. This one here is called Penny Packs Crackers by Lightning Bolt. And fun fact about Lightning Bolt brand, they actually don't make fireworks anymore. So when you find anything made by their brand, 
it's not a bad idea to pick it up, whether you're into collecting or you just want to see some of the older fireworks and how they performed better than modern day. But as you can see, that's a DOT and we've got full branding on the package. I've got another brick by Lightning Bolt right here. And this is called Flash Crackers. So you get 12 crackers per pack in this one. And this one looks like it's from 1998. So not quite DOT, but the same branding there on the back. Gotta love it. And we got a single firecracker here by Pyro Wolf. This is called Aliens. Very cool. I just like how it looks super long. It's got some fountain stuff that comes out of there before it explodes. And then we have a whole brick of the ground bloom flowers, or sorry, ground boom flowers with report by Wise Guy Brand. This was a favorite of mine growing up. It's basically a ground bloom flower that spins around but has a nice little report at the end. Then I've got this white box here. I have no idea what's in it, so let's take a look. All right, so it looks like we got some more larger individual crackers. This one here, the label came off, but this is a crazy robot. No brand on there. MK1002. And then we've got a bunch of these Angry Birds, I think. Yeah, these are the Angry Bird Crackers. Let's get you a shot of that right there. So these were a lot of fun. A um, bunch of Chinese writing on there. So obviously not really made for the USA, I don't think, but still pretty cool that I have them. We've got a Crazy King single. We have a Mamba Cracker, which is like the Cobra Crackers. And then we've got a Firepower Cracker. FP3, and then a Crazy Robots. So same thing as this, but different packaging. Lots of fun. Only other thing in this mini white box was a few packs of the Cherry Bomb Firecrackers. I think these are still made, so not really collectible, just like that it says Cherry Bomb. Okay, next up we've got four packs of two inch firecrackers. And basically all that is is a larger version of the mini dynamites. It looks like in this plastic case, we have two packs of the Golden Era Firecrackers from PGI. I've actually got a brick of these that we'll show you later on too. And in this one, I've got some Demolition Crackers. I think just one, no, we got two packs. Uh, you see the fuse comes out of the corner there, which is kind of odd. Next item is a pack of the Black Spider Crackers. And these are basically just mini dynamites, but the wrapping on the cracker is black. So it's pretty cool. You get 60 pieces in there. Then we've got this thing, which is super cool. This is the Super Bang Firecracker Assortment, and you just get some miscellaneous packs in here, so I'll get you up close shot of that. Moving on, we've got a whole pack of the Big Boss Crackers, so I think I showed you an individual one, and we've also got an entire pack of those. Um, I've got an entire brick of these here, which are the two inch crackers, so we'll put that aside. Then I've got an almost destroyed pack of black cats with the crimped ends so they didn't use clay. As you can see, these are DOT. And it looks like we have another brick. These are called Mighty Mites by Red Lantern. Uh, these are pretty popular. I know in the firecracker collection videos that I've seen, usually the guys have a few bricks of these. I think I've only got one and you're looking at it right here, but these are DOT. I've also got an original three pack of the Smoking Half Stick by Black Cat Fireworks. Even though these are nowhere near as loud as an M80, I think they still got hit with the recall. I believe they still make these things, but they don't make them nearly as loud as they used to. So if you can find the originals, definitely pick them up. And of course, all of you firecracker collectors watching this video knew that I was going to have some of these. These are the famous Thunder Bomb Firecrackers by Horse Brand. As you can see, this is a 100 strip. Uh, nothing really crazy here. These are UNO336, so they're not even DOT but I do have a couple packs of them and I'm pretty happy to have them. I've also got some Red Lantern supercharged flashlight firecrackers. And I think that's another, well, this is a 300 strip. So as you can see, it folds out like that. Definitely a lot bigger than these 100 strips, as you can see, but very cool. This is actually DOT. We've got some more Black Cat firecrackers from DOT, but they're in a plastic bag and completely missing the label. Just gonna hang on to them because I like that the Black Cat print is right on the firecracker. All right, all you guys that are big into salutes definitely know of this guy. Got a pack of the Dr. X brand firecrackers, and you can always see them showcased at PGI every year. I had to get this. This is the Great Wall, the Trump Wall, and it's just kind of funny, so I had to pick it up. I don't care what your political beliefs are. One thing we don't do on this channel is promote any specific political belief. I don't push it on you guys, and you guys don't push it on me, so we'll just leave it at that. 
The only reason I got this is because it's funny and it looks cool. We got two more bricks of these red hot firecrackers. Had to get them, they just have the DOT thing and I love the size of these packs, pretty cool. Then I've got this pack of Black Beauty firecrackers and for those of you who don't know, these are triangle crackers. However, these were made the correct way. So you get 20 real triangle crackers. There's really no way to open this without completely destroying the package. See if I can get it on this end. I'd love to show you what they look like and why they're made the right way. But basically, these are going to be louder than those huge brown ones over there. All right, we got a handful of firecracker packs here, so I'm just going to go through them. We've got another 300 strip Red Lantern. Uh, we've got, it looks like, maybe original Duck brand. No, these are not. These are not original. Hold on, let me look at them a little closer. Yeah, these are not... Maybe they are. I don't know. Some of you guys will have to let me know. They could be reprints. The firecrackers look a bit bigger than normal, but they are crimped. That's strange. Maybe those are the new version, which are louder. Anyway, we got a few packs of these Tiger firecrackers by Tiger Brand, or Tiger Head Brand, sorry. Pretty cool. These are DOT item. They're not in the best shape, but I'm definitely glad I was able to score a few strips of those. Then we've got just a regular pack of Wise Guy firecrackers. This is the 200 strip. And believe it or not, the reason why this is in the collection to begin with is because I've had a hard time finding the 200 strips lately. I don't know if they just got discontinued or what, but I wanted to hang on to one just in case. And check it out, guys. We've got the King of Firecrackers themselves. These are the Black Cat 65 year anniversary strips. I got a whole bunch of them here. They're actually just all the 65 year anniversary. These were kind of tough to find if you didn't get them right away. And I know that firecracker collectors were all over those things and that's why they were a bit tough to find, but I was able to get a brick of them. And what's strange is this is how they came in the bricks. So I don't know if they had one with the label out, but this is exactly how I found them in the store. And I got them from a registered black cat retailer. So I assume this is how they came from China. Okay, moving on, we have another brick of the two inch firecrackers and the ones here on the left actually have a red wrap on the crackers. I don't know if there is a difference. I never really wanted to compare them to find out. Just wanted to pick them up. Okay, we're getting closer to the bottom of the tote and so that means we're gonna see a lot of these little mini packs. I got a red apple flash crackers original. So these are pretty early on. They don't even make these anymore. So I'm glad I got a pack of those. Of course, we got a few more of these thunder bombs by Phantom Fireworks. That might be the new logo. So I'm not sure why I even picked these up. Not like I can get to a Phantom Fireworks anyway because they are 800 miles away from where I'm at right now. We got a pack of these roller coasters. That's another DOT in a plastic bag. And I'm seeing another container down here in the tote, so I'm gonna have to move all this real quick. I'll get right back to you. We're losing space on the table here really fast. I didn't realize I had this much stuff. Uh, this inside of this bag, I don't really wanna open it up, um, but we've got two bricks of the 50th year anniversary Gillette Wyoming firecrackers in here. We've got another two bricks of firecrackers here, and these are from the Golden Era PGI. You know what? These are from the same year as these, and they made two different bricks. So these are like the 50th anniversary, and this is the Golden Era brick. So I've got two of each from PGI in Gillette, Wyoming. And what do you know? I had another three-pack of the smoking half stick hiding out in the bottom of the tote. We'll put that aside, and I'm just going to pull this container out right away and put that aside for now. We will go through, just remember, I have this container and I've got this one over here. We still have to look at all that, so stay tuned. So just pulled a handful of packs out of the bottom. You can see we've got a 50 strip and a 16 strip of the Wise Guy Flashbang Crackers. And we've got some black cats, some original black cats from DOT. Pretty cool stuff. This one here, the label is kind of destroyed. And on this pack, we've got a hole in the bottom, but as you can see, crimped ends, pretty cool. And these are the last few items in the tote. As you can see, we just got a couple more 16 strips of firecrackers, thunder bombs, flash crackers, uh, roller coasters, and the bada bang flash crackers from Wise Guy. That's gonna do it for what's inside the large tote. Now let's show you the two containers. So this is where it gets really interesting because I've got all of my really cool kind of old more collectible firecracker packs in this container. And I've also got this sheet of paper I'm gonna show you. 
So this is going to explain all of your firecracker classifications. I picked this up at PGI. So when I'm talking about things like ICC and DOT and UNO336, this is actually what I'm talking about. So these classes here on the left are how you would classify your collectible firecrackers. So starting off, we've got a pack of Flying Dragon from DOT Class C. This is a 50 strip, looks like that on the back. I think these may be called penny packs or throw packs, but either way, these are some very tiny packs of firecrackers from Zebra brand. And if we get a really close shot there of the middle left, you'll notice they are ICC Class C. And we have a pack of Link Triad brand firecrackers. Looks like that, and as you can see, they are a lot smaller than regular firecrackers. Then we've got Chinese firecrackers by Tigerhead brand. As you can see, these things are pretty large. Um, I've got a bunch of packs right here. We've got Red Lantern, Thunder Bomb, another Thunder Bomb. Really no difference between those two. We've got Bikini Beach brand. These firecrackers are pretty large. Check it out. And we've got Thunder Bomb again. We've got some Cherry Bombs. These are older than the other ones, and these are DOT. We've got some All Red Crackers. Look at how big these things are. That fuse is pretty long too, but these firecrackers are huge and they're using cardboard on the end instead of clay, so they are gonna be naturally louder. Then we have the Tiger firecrackers here from DOT. I'm trying to go through this fast because I know there's a lot of uh, duplicates. Then we've got two more Chinese firecracker packs. These ones are huge. Look at the size of those firecrackers, massive. Uh, we got another pack of those right here. Then we have a couple packs of the Cannon Crackers by Cannon Brand Fireworks. Uh, these aren't really old or anything, they're just really cool looking. And as you can see, the crackers are a bit bigger than normal, so I had to get those. Then we've got more packs of Thunder Bombs. I don't know if there's any difference in any of these packs. I'd have to look at them closer. We've got some kick-ass crackers here, titanium flash crackers. So that means you can actually see these when they blow up. They have that nice little titanium report to them. We've got some Chinese junk right here, and I'm not kidding, that's actually what they're called. And then putting those aside, we got a bunch of these big bomb firecracker packs. You get 16 in there. Uh, all these firecrackers are like different sizes. It's kind of crazy to think about. We got a bunch of packs of the two inch firecrackers from earlier. I'm not sure why they're in this uh, container specifically, but these are probably some of the first edition ones and that's why they're in here because there's like three different editions and years for those crackers. It gets confusing after a while, but then we got two packs of Mighty Mites here. And that brand is Red Lantern. Something we're seeing a lot more of these days. Uh, they started making 500 gram cakes again, which is pretty cool. And I've been impressed with their products in the past. We got a whole big pack of big bombs. These are DOT. And we had some uh, smaller packs of these somewhere around here. Not sure where they went. There they are. So check it out. Bit of a different label on there. We have this almost destroyed pack of Vixen crackers. And they look like that. They're a bit larger. And I think the catch here is they spin around before they explode. Very cool stuff. You can find videos of these on YouTube, but other than that, they're pretty tough to find unless you're shopping at Shelton Fireworks. We got a pack of the Plum Blossom Bouquets by Horse Brand. We have a pack of Cracker Jacks by Lightning Bolt Brand. And I wish I had a brick of these things, but I don't. I'm always gonna wish that I had one because again, a Lightning Bolt, they don't make fireworks anymore. And if you find fireworks by them, that means it's old stock. And then we got Pigeon Brand Firecrackers, just one pack of those. These are DOT as well. And this is a bunch of roller coaster stuff, and we'll look at that in a moment. We've got more Mighty Might Flashlight Crackers from DOT. These are in plastic packaging, and I'm not sure if the reason for that is because they were repackaged or what, but I love the multicolor crackers on there. And we've got all these packs here on the bottom, starting with Atomic. We've got Supercharged by Red Lantern. We got some Black Cat Strips, Boomer, more Boomer, and more Boomer. These two little packs got away from me down here, but these are Lightning Bolt Flash Crackers. And if you guys remember that brick I showed you earlier, same thing as these. Now, lastly, for this container, we have a bunch of DOT packs of Roller Coaster Firecrackers. And you gotta love it because for DOT, these are in excellent shape. And if we go down here to the bottom, you can see we've actually got one from UNO336 as well. So you can see like the newer packaging and it's in just as good a condition as the old packaging. 
All right, we'll try to go through this quickly because I know this is already a long video and we still have to light stuff off at the end. But right here, I've got a plastic bag with these Mario crackers in them. And these are pretty tough to find because to get these, you actually have to take the label off of a different firecracker to get to this label. And as you can see, when I was removing this one, it actually tore it halfway. So pretty odd that something like this even exists, but this was the label underneath a rewrapped firecracker. I think it was the big boss or the zombies. And you'd only get these in a certain few packs. And the way to tell is if you just tear it back and you see this yellow here, you definitely want to reveal the original label. I think these got copyrighted and that's why they never made it to the market. But these are just the crazy Mario crackers and I'm glad to have at least five of them. We got this little white box here and inside is an original M100 salute from DOT Class C. Then we got another plastic bag here full of individual firecrackers. Not gonna read through them all, but I will get you a shot of each label so you can go through and check them out. We got some more on the back here. Good stuff. Uh, then we have another plastic bag with some of these, uh, I'm not sure what these are called. They're just red Chinese firecrackers. And we have another Angry Birds cracker as well. We have the Thundercracker, the Rise in the East, the Bed Bugs, the Surprise Fountain, and we got another plastic bag with some safe crackers in it. Uh, for those of you who have been following my channel for a long time, know that this is one of the first firecrackers I ever did on the channel, and I was lucky enough to be able to find two packs of these at some fireworks store, I can't remember where, but definitely really hard to find. I remember when I first moved out here, these were available at most every fireworks store, but then I couldn't find them as the years went on. Looks like we have another side fused silver salute, and it looks like we have another pack of some similar crackers called Sidewinders. These have the fuse coming out of the side, you know they're gonna be good. And we've got two packs of Magic Whips. These are not firecrackers, but it is like a crackling firecracker strip, if you will, by DOT Class C. We have another surprise fountain, we got a little bag with some match crackers here. These are really cool. They have like a striker, so you actually strike it on a matchbox and they blow up. And they're not made for the US, as you can see. We got another surprise fountain and we have this Pixie Dust by Mad Hornet. I have no idea why I saved this thing. That's just 2000 Shelton Fireworks little fountain. Maybe it shoots some stuff out of it, who knows but I kept it for a reason. And last but not least, we have another surprise fountain. So that is gonna wrap it up for the Firecracker Collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're gonna go outside and light some of this off. All right, we're gonna test out some of these firecrackers, starting with the one that I think is gonna be the quietest, and that one is the Silver Salute with the side fuse. Holy crap. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. That was loud. And now the loudest of the three, this is the BB cracker. Wow. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a test on this firecracker here to see if I got the gain level right on the mic. Nice. 